Oh, Marcus, I just love this time of the year when we start talking about all these cold fronts coming in and everybody's already complaining that it's kind of already chilly, but then you hear there's another cold front and it's like, oh, I just love it. <laughs> More clothes, you get to go buy, you have an excuse to go buy clothes. Yes, that's right, or pull them out and wear extra layers. Yep. Uh, Trent, we are certainly on a wild ride. We talked about this earlier this week, how we would just be on an up and down temperature swing, and now we are on track to see colder temperatures. Of course, we would see it by this time tomorrow evening, but it would was going to be uh, that time that we're finally going to see these temperatures get a bit colder. Now it's probably coming in during the day tomorrow, so we're just coming in maybe under 10 hours or so before we start to see these temperatures begin to come in. So let's talk about what's going on. So the real front that's going to help bring in more of the colder like temperatures, and we're talking a drop in the uh, dew points and also a drop in the drier air to come in. That's associated with the clouds that will be arriving Wednesday night into Thursday. But today, we've already had a lot of precipitation across Texas, and there's some colder air, say, within about 50 or 60 miles off to our northwest. That's coming in for tomorrow, and that's going to really help drop the temperatures first initially before we start to see some of the more colder air come in as we head into our Thursday morning. Temperatures for us now into the 60s for many areas, but you do notice a nice little gradient here of temperatures off by about 5 to almost 10 degrees, 51 Sulphur Springs, Palestine at 56. Farther to the west, temperatures there are down into the 40s. So there is some much colder air, just not too far away. We are dealing with some mist and some drizzle out there. We are all experiencing cloudy skies for tonight. Athens at two miles of visibility with some mist there. Seven in Jacksonville, four in Mineola, seven in Sulphur Springs. This is associated with even some of the rainfall coming through too. Live Doppler radar does pick up on some of those areas of light precipitation that continue to work through. So We'll watch for this through the nighttime hours. I don't expect this to be severe, but there is a risk for an isolated strong thunderstorm that might try to form as we head into tomorrow. This is Futurecast as we go throughout the night. There will be areas of rain, a couple of storms that will pass through. Make sure you have our East Texas Storm Team app. You can be notified of lightning alerts, which is nice to know. That way you can be reassured whether there's an actual warning or not. And we don't anticipate any warnings through the night, but there will be some off and on rain. And then when you check in tomorrow morning on Good Day with meteorologist Carson Vickroy, he will be tracking some additional areas of rain and thunderstorms that will be coming through. Into the afternoon. A couple of isolated stronger thunderstorms can occur, especially where we warm up a bit more down over parts of deep east Texas and Toledo Bend. A gusty wind threat, maybe some hail will be possible, but at this point, most of us are in the colder air, but we'll still deal with some waves of rain going all the way through Wednesday night into Thursday. Let's show you the temperature drop. So this is 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. Notice the gradient here of temperatures from the 40s off to the northwest down into the 60s down to the southeast. We'll fast forward this toward the new hour. Temperatures still starting to cool down from northwest to southeast, even near 70. That's where that isolated storm chance is over deep east Texas. And by 5 o'clock, temperatures there down into the lower 40s, but it will feel even colder than that as we get into our Wednesday evening and Wednesday night. So here's the seven day 44 the afternoon temperature tomorrow. Rain ends Thursday, 48 for the afternoon high. We will struggle to get to 50. We could even see a light freeze in some areas with a strong wind on Thursday morning. Friday morning, a better chance for a widespread frost and a light freeze as winds will become calm, but beautiful weather. Friday afternoon, Saturday and Sunday, just a few clouds Saturday with a reinforcing front coming in. Warmer temperatures try to creep back in for next week. Here comes deep east Texas. Rain and storms for tomorrow, and then those temperatures will be dropping from the 70s to the 60s. We're near 50 for you on Thursday, but a frost and a light freeze does look likely for you too on Friday morning, especially once the clouds clear on out. You can stay up to date with our forecast over at EastTexasMatters.com. Thank you, sir. Good news.